I want to give you an insight on how I come up with these videos. I was watching a video on like the impact of Minecraft or some goofy editorial that's way too long for me to recommend to a normal human being. When the narrator said, and I'm gonna paraphrase this to avoid identification, Minecraft was primarily supported by the impact it made in the transgender and neurodivergent communities. And this was so goofy to me that I had to stop the video and go on a mental rant about how stupid it was. Dude, homie, chief, buddy, my potentially non-binary gay slash they. If you can't tell that Minecraft was popular because it appealed to kids, I'm calling your whole thought process into question. So that led me to thinking about what I did as a child, because I'm almost 30 at the time of writing this. I didn't have Minecraft, let alone unsupervised access to the internet. On your mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. So I thought about Nerf, my favorite brand as a youngling, which led to looking online at what they're doing now and, oh, dude, what the hell is this? Minecraft? Roblox? That should look like the Battle Pass. That's what I'm saying. Bro, what are these categories? Okay, Overwatch actually makes sense. Bro, I love Tarkov. What do you mean that's not Tarkov? They getting into the Scaly community here too? Is that a bad dra- Dog, how did we get here? I don't understand. <laughs> Back when I was younger, we used to just harm each other physically with like BB guns and sticks you'd find on the side of the road. Used to give each other arm burns and literally used to play a game that was called Manhunt. I'm guessing that's probably why they made shit like Nerf and Super Soaker, to prevent us from beating the absolute shit out of each other for fun. I know those vibes. Child safe violence, but at range. I remember my mom banning toy guns till I was like 10 since she was worried we'd point them at the wrong kid or barnyard animal. This is, I think this is the place we got to report on with it. There's these, these kids upstairs doing this shit and smoking and everything, I think. Those wrong kids took those guns and modded them, putting stronger springs in and full plastic darts. I'll admit, as a differently textured individual, I don't interact with guns much due to the fear of catching a few warning shots. So to me, these are just way too close to real ass guns. Being seen walking around with these has to put you on a list nowadays, dear lord. Same with the same kids that put tacks and nerf darts. It's nerf for nothing! <laughs> Regardless, back in the 80s, nerf decided to give kids a safe new way to play. Or get you in the military. Today I was kicking it off with the Marines! The Marines have a model, they serve God and country! I want to call out something I don't think everyone notices. Uh, you remember Super Soaker, right? Yeah, that was nerf back then. And every kid begged their parents for those $40 plastic guns, let me tell you. While the idea started with a weird shaped jug full of water on top of a plastic frame, we moved over to foam darts in 92. It started out with just some single shotguns and eventually it just spiraled and spiraled and spiraled. Until nowadays where we got belt fed automatic fucking borderline military tech. Oh shit, the military tech costs like $160 now and you know your kid's gonna break it immediately. Dang, they even got frame rates nowadays. All right, I'll admit, I do enjoy some of the newer designs. Fucking dinosaur guns? Hell yeah, dude. Child me would be bouncing like Nerf balls off the wall looking at some of these. Like, do you see this? That's a breakaway Triceratops shotgun. Is Dog, if you weren't like at least a quarter chub at that idea, I'm pulling it hard. If I had to grade this as a sub brand of Nerf, uh, B plus. All the guns fit the theme well, look cool, and would easily excite both child and grown child, AKA me. The Halo guns, wait, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Chief? Man slimming down for the femboy fit. Oh, also, uh, the Halo guns seem pretty cool. Like, putting aside whatever you may feel about the latest game, uh, the gun designs are cool and have a mix of paying homage to the series and reference to other cool guns. 
The Bulldog reminds me of the striker from RE4 or the DAO12 IRL, which just might be my obsession with drum fed shotguns, but I digress. Also, the Mangler slaps in game and in here. Uh, C plus overall, since I don't think the new generation will give a shit about the older gun references in Halo's history. As for Star Wars, uh, the Han Solo's Type 17 Chinese pistol is actually a Mauser C96, you big dummy, you big fucking idiot. What do you mean you've never held a gun before? I'm gonna come to you. This is also pretty cool. Uh, bonus points for adding sound effects for when you shoot it. The others are fairly standard expectations. The Bowcaster, Mandalorian, the weird rifle from A New Hope, uh, A minus with the timeliness of Star Wars and making the pew pew sounds from the guns. Definitely would waste a trip to the mall for these. Welcome to the section of the video that got this solidified as an idea. My guy, brother, or sister, or they themer, I don't want to assume. Let me give you a hypothetical. We work for Nerf. I call you excited out of my mind. I just landed a deal with Minecraft. You congratulate me. This is a big deal and the bonus I'm getting will be amazing. You are going to be the one in charge of figuring out what we use for designs. There's easy ones like the bow, the crossbow, but what else? Would you ever say a hammer? Whatever, you got the ideas down to your team. Let's see what they come up with. Bow looks good, hard to fuck up. Oh no, why does the crossbow Chester Cheetah flavored? Uh, at least the string works? Minecraft sword, it's made of foam and shoots darts. Looks dumb as hell, but okay. Hammer? What? Why? There Are there even hammers in Minecraft? What the fuck? Stop it. Get some help. Dog, as a mostly respectable near 30 year old, I know nothing about Roblox. Like, isn't the whole deal that it's all user generated content? So how does this work? Do you make deals with the game creators in Roblox? The modeler in Roblox? I guess the design is unique enough, but all the rest don't look like they're all from the same thing, you know? There's no brand cohesiveness. I'll be nice and give it a C, just for the idea of appealing to one of the most emerging markets in video games. Uh, speaking of which, remember when this game was about zombie survival? No, I'm not bringing it up like some type of slam dunk that every other YouTuber has when criticizing this. Instead, I bring it up since that's what these guns were originally designed for. It's kind of funny to look back on, but it's even funnier to consider how we went from this is what most Americans are preparing for, the zombie apocalypse, to wacky, I got shot by Goku and Naruto. Look, you want an example? Here's some of the first Fortnite guns, a shotgun and like the original pistol. Notice the exaggerated features and barrels. Compare that to the more modern Fortnite gun. This is just a P90. This is just a Barrett 50 cal. This is just that one gun from Counter-Strike. Like, what happened? This was supposed to be goofy. The game itself kept that vibe, but then again, they get to use popular IPs, so that's just the ultimate cheat code for design. Ultimately, C- minus for giving up on being cool halfway through. There are a bunch of the uh, completely owned, wholly nerfed brands on this, like Ultra, Hyper, Alpha, Baconator, Trans Rights. They're iconic? but not particularly impressive. Hyper is the nerf ball, thus a nightmare to keep track of all the ammo once you shoot it. Elite is for the kid who thinks tactical is a compliment. Rival is just the second verse, same as the first. Only where you mad libs the word balls in for every single blank. Ultra is all about the special darts, which immediately begs the question, why not just use those in one of the actually cool guns? I'm gonna go on a limb to say Alpha Strike is the budget lightweight option uh, mega is just big darts and all i need to say is sure because big dart and zombie strike that i'm saving for a stream insert twitch plug here read this part aloud pester the viewer about how following subscribing and most importantly their viewership would be appreciated ultimately all of these get like a c like good on you nerf for trying but 
no one is going to like these until they start missing the old Kanye. Straight from the soul Kanye. I kind of forgot the point of this video. Like, this was a stream of consciousness. My I want to talk about Nerf guns excitement got written over by hashtag brand recognition and my hatred over how most either don't work or are just replicas of real guns. Ultimately, Nerf as a whole obviously ain't killing it, but I feel like there's a definite gap between them and a more multimedia enterprise like Lego. That being said, they are an old name that isn't going anywhere, and they do get good pairings from time to time. I do want to call out that I've been holding back, not losing my mind over some of the commercials they've been putting out over the last decade, especially with their attempts at 3D models, but that feels like a YouTube copyright claim minefield. So you know what we'll do instead? Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. If you remind me about it, I'll stream it with a number of friends and we can all have a laugh. And I'd be more than willing to chop up that live stream recording into something more scripted like this. But for now, that's all I got. Here's hoping that I can figure out something else to talk about before I have to clock back into work. All right, bet.